volunteers who spend months of hard work on the event because they know the culture show is a way for all of us to connect with our Indian American community. Like many of us, I grew up in the safety net of aunties and uncles always around me. We were always having dinner parties at somebody's house, making samosas in a big assembly line, and always only able to sleep over each other's houses. The result of that community and safety net was that I knew I was genuinely cared for by people outside of my family. I knew someone was always looking out for me, and it wasn't until I became a parent did I realize the impact of growing up within a strong community. SBIAA serves that purpose for so many of us now, for kids and grown-ups alike. It's how we connect with people with similar values and upbringings as us. SBIA is where my kids learn to bhangra, they learn to throw colors at holy, and they desperately try not to bash each other's fingers with dandia garba. I hope that over the last year, I've been able to make a positive impact on this community that has given me so much friendship and a sense of belonging. And now, I am happy to hand over the reins to an incredible woman. So please give a big round of applause for next year's SBIAA president, Anu Gupta. Thank you, Anu. I'm doing this without notes. Um, I just wanted to say that it has been a great pleasure to work with you, Anu, and that this has been such a gift to myself to join with so many others um, in leading SBIA. Um, one thing I would love to share is that this show was everything to me when we finally moved here and our kids, all three of them, participated last year. What I think you saw was the talent on stage. You saw the hours of time put in and you saw sharing this with the amazing South Bay community that we live in. Um, what you don't see is that what this show also gives, which I personally wanted to make sure we did, was to create a really safe and amazingly free space for all of the incredible creative people in my generation and the next generation who want to share their love of music, of dance, of Indian culture, language and community with their children and with all of you. So when all of us go to our jobs as you know, software engineers and teachers and oncologists and everything else that we do during the day, and then we take a minute to choreograph a dance or we take a minute to mentor the younger kids, that is a way for you to step away from everything you have to do to do what you love. And I think this year, we tried our best to make sure the choreographers and mentors had that space to just come and teach and bring this incredible, incredible show to all of you. So without further ado, I would like to welcome Sara Kuruvala, who, along with Mega Sata, um, has led this committee. They have led this committee and I'm going to pass it over to Sara to tell you about what we really did this year for the show and to thank our committee members. Thank you. Thank you, Anu and um, This has been such an incredible year for us. First of all, how have you guys enjoyed the show so far? I uh, am just so delighted as a new SBIA member ourselves. We um, only recently moved to the South Bay and my wonderful friend, Nidhi, where are you? She told me about this organization which I did not know existed and so this, you know, was just such a great discovery to find an Indian association right here in the South Bay uh, with 450-ish families, I think, uh, we have right now and growing. So if there's families like us who've newly moved to the area, we would love for you to join the association. I'm a new member. And uh, my family dove right in to participate in a number of things, and this event is uh, by far the highlight for all of us. Um, I want to introduce to you the committee that helped me put the show together. I'm so happy that both the animals trusted me to be the chair of this event as a new member, but I could not have done it without their help and their expertise and background, as well as the committee who I will invite onto the stage. Please join me, all of you. <laughs> Every one of you. <laughs> Tirelessly, they really had our backs as we put this show together for you all. And 
really with their experience and expertise on stage and backstage, um, as well as Komal right here, our main person handling tech and EV, light and sound. I just want to have a really big round of applause for the committee to help with this event. I just have one quick thing I want to say uh, about each of them. When Starting with uh, Sherry, who handled the Sign Up Geniuses for us. You know, this was a new thing we tried this year, and it went so successfully to match all the dancers with all the amazing choreographers. So thank you for doing that. Koma, our wonderful light, sound, tech, AV, everything that makes sure that the music is Thank you so much for doing this show for us and taking that huge burden off of us. Mega. I'm going to come to you at the end, but I also want to say, without Mika, this show would not be at all what it is. Yes. She is choreographer, performer, mentor for every single high school piece that we did today. She was guiding all of them, um, matched them up with other mentors, and still oversaw all of their pieces. Did the entire backstage logistics all by herself. So, major applause for Mika. Thank you so much. Also a new member. I'm happy she's joined, and she's uh, she was in India for a bit, but is back here and helping us. So thank you for helping us, Nika. And Gunjan, who took away a huge burden of organizing all of the performers on that side, making sure they know. Thank you so much, everybody. And um, now I want to move on to thanking the, the people that really make the show happen, which are the choreographers. Could I please get you guys to stand up? Choreographers, stand up. We want to see you. Yes. I know the lights are not on because Cole's here, but I hope you can see them. These guys are just the heart and soul of the show. Without them, our wonderful performers have nowhere to go. So thank you for the creativity and you've taken the theme that Mekha came up with as well, which was to really tie the Indian American experience to the show. Speaking of, you know, generations prior to us, or new people like myself who just made our way to this country um, to make it our home, we try to project all of this through innovative dances, and these are the wonderful choreographers that did that with their creativity. Thank you so much, and we hope to see you again next year. Applause to the performers, the little ones, to the senior citizens who have been at the Thank you so much. And we want the seniors to perform every year. So for those of you who are watching this time and didn't perform, please do know that we would love for you to be participating.